Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Caitlin from the Spencerville Polar Bears, and on this channel, I'm going to be doing honors. So, if you want to just to uh, follow along while doing an honor, that's great. So, the honor we're doing today, as you can see, is the dog honor. For me personally, this is my favorite honor, and I teach the friends class at my Pathfinder group. We had so much fun doing the dog honor. I had so much fun teaching them it. It was just a blast. God put so much love, humor, and everything into it. So, let's get started. Number one, give the scientific name of the dog family. So, canine. Number two, name five distinctive characteristics of the dog family. Number one is, canines have 42 teeth. Two is, they walk on their toes. The next one is, they have four claws on on the hind feet and five on the front. Sorry about the typo. The fourth one is they have two coats, an outer coat of coarse hair and an inner coat of fine hair. The last one is they do not choose the food according to taste, but according to their smell. Number three, identify from pictures or personal observation five wild members of the dog family. And the answer is a gray fox. I don't even need to spend too much time on this, even though it's so blurry. You probably already know the answer. It is a red fox. Now, what's this one? This is is probably one of the most popular uh, types of wild canine. And it is called the gray wolf. What's this one? It's a coyote. They're common here where I live in Maryland. What's this one? If you ch said dingo, you are correct. Number four. Identify from pictures 25 different breeds of dogs. What's well, this dog? I probably don't even need to give you more time. If he said German Shepherd, you are a winner. I have this dog. She's really cute. Her name is Zoe. If he said Beagle, you are correct. What's well, this one? If you said chow chow, you are correct. You're right, it's a bulldog. You are correct, it's a French bulldog. And they are a poodle. Like I was saying at the beginning of this video. And they are a Alaskan Alamutes. This one, I actually had a neighbor who had a border collie once. And I gave away the answer. What about this one? Now this is my personal favorite. King Charles Spaniels. It's a dachshund. Also called a wiener hound. You're correct. A half and pinch, sir. You are correct. It is a Rottweiler. How about this one? Yep, it's an American uh, uh, Eskimo dog. And what about this one? You are correct, a Great Dane. How about this one? The Pembroke Welsh Corgis. Oh, how about these? Yep, a Basset Hound. Now, what about this one? You are correct. It's a, a Antol 
Antolian Shepherd. Oh, how about these lovable furry giants called Great Pyrenees? Ooh, how about these? Yes, a golden doodle. How about this one? Yes, a situ. And no, I am not saying that curse word. It is pronounced situ. What about this cute fun ball? Yep. It's a multi-poo. How about these dogs? They're Jack Russell Terrier. I had one of those breeds. They are awesome. Ooh, how about these? A American bully. No, they don't bully people. Don't, don't get that wrong. All these look exactly like an American bully, but a lot taller. What are they called? They are called American Pit Bull Terriers. These are my mom's favorite dogs. They are Yorkshire Terriers. Okay, now we're on to question number five. Name five for contributions. Dog family hasn't made to man. Companion animals for number one. And C, the dog is uh, cuddling with it, his owner uh, affectionately. See that big smile? Seeing eye dogs help the blind gain independence. Hearing assistant dogs help the deaf. Sled dogs are used as transport transportation. And dogs herd her cattle, sheep, and other livestock for shepherds. Now on to number six. Give the name of the smallest and largest breeds of dogs. The smallest breed is the Chihuahua. It literally means small in Spanish, and yes, I asked my Spanish teacher. The largest breed is a, a Irish wolfhound. This is the Irish wolfhound. This is a fully grown man. Number seven. Write or describe the value to men of the following dogs. Seeing eye dogs. Eye dogs, uh, they assist uh, blind people uh, and or visually impaired people around obstacles. St. Bernard's, they are avalanche rescue dogs. Shepherd dogs, do I even need to say more? Collies, the most intelligent breed of dog. They are also a shepherd dog. Eskimo, Eskimo dog is a larger breed of Arctic dog. They pull sleds. Number eight, write what special contribution dogs have. They have. Uh, uh, Oh, this is in wartime. Sorry, I forgot to read in wartime. They've been used to sniff out landmines, to carry messages as sentries, as scouts, to detect booby traps, as attack dogs in battle, and to go ahead into dangerous areas before humans. We really care about our dogs. Number nine, identify from pictures five dogs that are classed as toy dogs. No, they are not stuffed up. This is a type of toy dog. 
And no, it's a real dog. It's a Pomeranian. They are extremely cute and extremely expensive. Ah, uh, this is the one I've been talking about before. A Chihuahua. Ooh. We've talked about this dog before. It's called a Toy Poodle. Ooh, what about these? I do believe we've talked about them. They are Maltese. Oh, I guess we didn't. Sorry. What about this one? I know for a fact we have talked about this dog. It's a Yorkshire Terrier. Number 10. What is the only dog that has a holy blue or black tongue? The answers are Chow Chow and the Chinese Sharpe. Number 11. What is the fastest running dog? There is a dispute, so there are two answers, both Bold, uh, Saluki, and the Greyhound. What member of the toy dogs uh, has uh, become the most popular? And it's the Yorkshire Terrier. Number 13. What dog has been especially helpful in tracking criminals? Got the answer? It's the Bloodhound!